Okay, my dudes, check this out. I went bay hunting today and I found some new Beyblade X stuff. I was in the Smith's toy store and they had some awesome Beyblade X stuff that we don't actually have yet. So I had to just pick that up. So first of all, I actually haven't seen this in any of the stores yet. So I was actually really surprised. We've actually got one of the launchers, the Winder launcher. Now we don't normally use these launchers just because we prefer the string launchers. But one thing I will say, uh, these are very, very powerful. Like they are, I feel like the power levels this has more power, but this has more controllability. So uh, it's up to how you guys like playing. But let me know in the comments below, which lords uh, do you prefer when you battle Beyblade X? So we ought to be checking out this. We actually do have the black one as well from TT. So the white one and the black one we have, this is the TT version. And then we have the Hasbro version here, which also obviously is made by TT. But we have both of them. Even shows you how to do it, nice. And then we found Scythe Incendio. That is right, Hell Scythe is here, my dudes. My dudes, I am hoping that once again, when we battle Hasbro versus TT, Hasbro will show us how much they have grown because I'm pretty sure if you guys have watched the battle of the brands, when we take both of the same Beyblades, of uh, TT and Hasbro. Hasbro, weirdly enough, has actually been winning. I don't even know how that's possible, but Hasbro has been winning and I absolutely love it, man. So if we look here, it is exactly actually the same combo we get as the TT version. This is the TT version we do have right here. We are gonna be marking this up. We're also gonna be doing weighing as well to make sure the weight of these Beyblades. But first thing I'm actually gonna open up is the launcher because once again i'm just curious to see if the launchers get your gears in motion i love that this is kind of cool this box man all right so i do need to cut this open right here because there is so much seller tape everywhere and it does get crazy okay cool here we go let's see the kind of packaging we actually have with this now one thing i will say i hate like i absolutely hate when we get the ripcord like this. Is it still called a ripcord? I'm assuming it is. I hate when it's like that. Now, you can easily sort this out, right? You can get a bowl of warm water. It doesn't have to be too hot. Warm water, leave it in there for a little while. It'll start to soften up, right? Then mold it straight. Put it under something like a book or just something heavy like this. Leave it for a couple of hours. When you come back, it will actually be dead straight. So. There is a thing for you guys. Uh, if you just tried doing this all the time, then it will happen like this kind of what happened to me. I tried bending it back, but yo, it, it's not perfect. It does the job, but it's not perfect. You can just obviously just try and bend it back like this and hopefully you can make it straight just like I'm doing there. Eventually it will get to a place where you can rip the bay nicely, but at the same time, if you don't want it like that, just do what I said. Warm water, don't do it too hot, and then just put it under something and leave it for a couple of hours, and it'll be straight, man. Um, all right, so that's actually all we get in there. I don't really feel like we need anything else. If we're just gonna be comparing the two right now, so I gotta make sure I don't actually mix these up, because, oh, Hasbro actually has this right here. Okay, cool, so there actually is a difference. That's nice. Okay, so. Let me get a zoom in right now. So if we come down here. So they both say, obviously, uh, uh, Tommy, Takara Tommy, whatever. They both say it on there, right? Because I'm, I do believe that Takara Tommy makes both of them. Even though the white looks, I'm not too sure if you guys can see that. Maybe the camera's blowing it out. But no, actually, no, it is the same. Yeah, no, it is the same. Uh, but the Hasbro version, they have this number right here. So <clears throat> you can tell the difference, which is nice. So that means that this is like the Hasbro version and this is like the TT version. So you can tell the difference, which actually I like that, which is kind of nice. Um, especially if you're like a collector 
and you don't want to get your stuff mixed up. All right, so let me just see if they sound different. They don't sound like they will be, but... Okay, that's that one. Now let's do the TT version, see if it sounds the same. It's so hard to tell. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. That's like, in, but that's virtually impossible to tell you it's different, man. But if you do like these winder launchers, uh, then you can actually pick one up. Like I said, we found it in uh, the Smith's Toy Store. So if you guys have a Smith's Toy Store near you, then you gotta check it out. There's actually loads of places that actually sell Beyblade X now, which is awesome, by the way. So that's nice to know. Um, all right, so now let's get over to Saif. Incendio. I'm not too sure if I like their name. I feel like I like, well, I understand the reason why we couldn't do Hell's Scythe because like a whole, the name Hell is not really the best, but uh, Scythe Incendio uh, kind of means the same thing like fire and all that. So regardless, I understand why they went with it, but I don't know, it just doesn't give me that same kind of vibe. Um, all right, so we saw the stats here. Again, I love this little window. This little window here, it does it for me, man. I just feel like that's, that's so cool. Uh, we do get a we do get a launcher and a ripcord in here, I believe. But, but, not the best. So this is like, there you go. Let me just get these out right here. It wasn't, it's not coming out nice. Look at this. We need to come out. It wasn't, a, it wasn't a, oh no, I done it wrong. I done it wrong. I'm too used to opening, um, TT, look, let it rip, bro. My bad, my bad, bro. <laughs> All right, that's how you're meant to open it. Um, so we do get this one. So the difference, as you guys can see, so if you buy this one, the rip cord you get is longer, as you guys can see. So that is got a good couple of teeth. That is actually longer. Also, this way easier to pull than this especially on the ripcord thing anyway man um so yeah just in case you guys were wondering you do get a longer version one so that actually might be worth just this could actually be worth it if you haven't got one man so that's just a note right there also this i don't <laughs> i've never really liked these ones but uh let me see how we do this here we go uh these are so tiny they're so tiny guys like literally yeah these are these are not the best not gonna lie these are not the best but regardless it's free with the beyblade um all right so let's get this out right here and we'll check it all out with the combos and all that good stuff and also i'm gonna weigh it so we can't forget i'm gonna leave the tt version oops tt version is gonna stay right there hasbro version here so first thing i'm gonna do is just get the parts out so we can, uh, well, I need to compare it as well. So we actually need to take apart this. Really, I should have to tell the difference. It's kind of been uh, battled a lot, but I'm gonna keep that there just so we can compare them. So first, let's get the bits. Let me zoom in first. All right, so bits first, so you guys can actually see that. Literally identical, so you guys know what you're getting. Shape, everything looks exactly the same. Put them aside. Then we get the ratchet. So the bit and the ratchets right here. First part that we are going to be looking at. As you guys can see, once again, exactly the same. Same markings, same everything, to be very honest with you. Uh, but yeah, okay, so that's that. Now, put this aside. Can't get mixed up, can't get mixed up. Now we're going to look at the actual blades right now. So Hasbro TT, just so you guys know, you guys can see. So obviously this one is shiny, right? it's brand new, we haven't battled it yet. This has been through battles, man. So obviously not as shiny, it's got scuff marks, it, it's, it's battle worn, man. Uh, but there you go. We do obviously have a QR code for the Hasbro one, which I'm gonna get up right there for you guys, wicked. Um, all right, so if you haven't got that, scan that into your app right now so you guys can play with Scythe Incendio on your Beyblade X app. Once again, guys, I say this all the time, the Beyblade X app is actually really fun. And they got like uh, battle passes and stuff where you guys can collect stuff. I don't know if you pay for something on there, but I don't do that anyway. So it's all the free stuff, which is kind of cool. Um, all right, so another thing we actually do when we get parts like this. Now, I'm not too sure if you guys 
uh, make a habit of this, but if you guys don't want to mix up your parts from Hasbro and TT, what we normally do is we normally just get one of these little Sharpie pens and just so for the videos as well when we battle them, we normally just mark them here. So we'll just do like a little mark there, little mark around here. So we can say that is Hasbro's bit for Siphon Incendio. And then we get the ratchet. This is gonna be a little bit more harder because it actually is dark, but hopefully we can see that. And then what I might actually do with this one, really I normally don't do this many, but I feel like going a little bit overboard today. I might even just do a little bit on here so we can actually see on there as well. That's just in case you guys uh, don't like mixing up your parts. If you don't, if you don't care, then it doesn't matter. It honestly doesn't matter. But for when we do videos and stuff, I kind of like keeping them separate and keeping the Beyblades as they are. All right, so weigh-in time. Let's see this now. Normally, as well, one thing we've noticed is TT is always a hair heavier. It's weird, but I don't understand it. But TT is always heavier, just by a tiny, tiny part. So let's see the TT blade. This is weighing in at a 32.98, 32.98. All right, 32.98, Hasbro 32.66. Can you guys see that? Now it might be to do with the dirt on here because obviously doing battles, it gets dirty. That 0.3 is nothing, it's like, it's like dust. So it's weird, but it could be just the dirt on this that's weighing it down. Ratchets, let's see ratchets, uh, 635, all right, 635 to a six, whoa! Again, only like a point one there, but Hasbro again is a little bit more heavier. It's weird, but it's how it is, man. All right, the bit now, we have a 226 for TT, and Hasbro will be a 222, so again, the tiniest difference, but that difference will make a bigger difference when we put all the parts together and all the combos together, because once you see the difference here, it might be about half a gram, like always, man. All right, here we go. So we have 40, 41, 59, 41, 59. Over here, we have 41, 0, 8. So literally half a gram. That's crazy. It's not a lot. It's literally half a gram on the dot because this was 41.59. This is 41.09. There's literally half a gram, which is insane. But regardless, um, it is always heavier. Like I said, it could be just the dirt on there. It might not be nothing major. But regardless, what I'm going to do now is we're going to do battles. And every time we open up a uh, Beyblade from the Hasbro side, we have to use this awesome Hasbro Beyblade X Stadium. We've got enough room here. We don't. I actually zoomed out as much as we can. All right, let me do this. I'm actually going to use, which I never normally do. I'm going to try this launcher out. This could be a bad. This is going to be a bad idea, but I'm going to regardless. All right, here we go. Woo! Okay, okay, okay. Not too bad. But technically, what I should have done is I should have used this one because these these two are the ones that actually work together. It feels so weird using these kind of launches now. Like, literally, it feels so weird. All right, here we go. <laughs> wow, okay. You know what? I'll be serious with you guys. That didn't actually feel too bad to launch. It went out of control, but it actually felt nice. Doing this actually felt nice. Okay, here we go. Woo! All right, I may have changed my mind about this right here. This is not too bad. Yo, I just remember um, the burst versions not being the best, so I kind of didn't really give these ones a chance. Um, all right, so this is the Hasbro one here. Let me just get the rip cord and then put it in the wrong way. Uh, you can tell I'm not used to using these, right? Nah, I can already tell this is way more beefier. Oh! Oh, that was way more easier to control. Oh, wow. That was... That was actually a very nice, all right, all right. So now I've used the both of these. This one is better. This is okay to use. You can still use this one. There's nothing wrong with this one. As long as your hands feel comfortable with it. But this one, I may have just changed my mind with this one right here. I'm gonna do a string launch after as well. 
but you can actually get, whoa, my dudes, I like these. All right, let me actually get a string launcher back in here and we'll do string launcher. And, ooh, you know what? I don't know if it's because I'm doing like one player mode right now or whatever, but, but I felt like I actually had more, a better launch of this. I felt like I had a better launch of this. Look at that. Didn't catch on the edge quite as good as a couple of times, but I feel like if we're rating launches right now, this one actually felt like it launched better. Wow. Oh, I might have to start using these launches again, guys. Look at that. Woo! Let me go for a power launch. All right, so obviously I haven't been doing crazy power launches. Let me try a very hard power launch. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh! That was out of control. That actually was out of control right there. That was insane, but cool at the same time. All right, guys, so let me just get this here. Let me zoom back down right now so we can see. So, oh, I've got all that markers on my hand, man. Um, all right, so, um, Hell Scythe, Scythe Incendio, Incendio, I believe, yeah, Incendio. Um, I like them. I like Murds, Beyblades, so they're pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna be doing a battle of the brands between these two. We're gonna see, remember, TT half a gram heavier. So technically, he should get more wins, but I wanna see if Hasbro can do it. Maybe the clean, shiny, non-battled version is fresh and ready to battle. We'll have to see, man. Um, again, if you can't find these, I found my one in uh, the Smith's toy store. So I don't know if you guys want to go and get one, but they're actually a lot more better than I remember, to be honest with you. Uh, but I did have a lot of room. Sometimes I find when you're doing two-player mode anyway, you need more room over it like that. So I don't know. I don't know if it's if I prefer this or this in battles, in actual battles, but this actually isn't too bad. So yeah, they're actually pretty expensive. I think these cost as much as the Beyblade, which is, I feel like maybe a little bit too expensive, but regardless, there is like a whole lot of gears and stuff in here that goes around. So a lot more work had to go into this as well. But comment down below what you guys like. But there it is, two Beyblades that we are gonna see go head to head. Comment down below, are you Hasbro or TT from now? And then we'll see the results maybe tomorrow. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next episode, my dudes.